Hey guys, it's Paolo. So today we got a great episode because we are talking to the gorgeous, talented, Emmy Award winning actress, Susan Lucci. Now she was the queen of daytime for 41 years on All My Children as Erica Kane, but today she's starring in one of my favorite shows on Lifetime, Devious Mate, and it's back for its fourth season. I can't wait to go talk to Susan. See you there. His life was changed and made new when an angel made his dream come true. And now he brings his dream to you. And it's so powerful. That's good? Okay. Are you good? I'm good. You know, this is an honor to have you on our show, Susan. I'm so happy to meet you and be here. Like, thank you. Thank no, don't, don't thank me no more. I gotta thank you. <laughs> I, you know, I could. You know, in the middle of the night, I was awake, and Pat's like, "Why can't you sleep?" I'm like, "Why are you sleeping? Susan Lucci's gonna be here in eight hours." Like, no. he's, like, he's like, "But you have eight hours." I'm like, "I just can't sleep." I was so excited, and oh, thank you're just. I mean, I said you're just gorgeous. You're just. You're a beautiful, humble person. So thank you so much. And I'm I so and glad I have to say to my you. mother because if I don't, she's gonna kill me. Because she, like, my father and my mom came to this country in 1971 from Italy. So you were oh, one of the first really? people that my mother saw on television. Oh. So for, throughout her, like, you were on there for 41 years, but her 40 years of watching you, she just said, you tell her that I love her. And so I, I said, you. I promise that I'm going to tell Susan so you can make me that Tita Mizu mom because I told her. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really, this means so much to me. So many women who mm. came here. Uh, from other countries, from yeah. from mostly brunette countries, came here mm. and couldn't speak English, like and they mom. say they learned to speak English yeah. by watching Erica Kane. Yes. yes, and that makes me so happy. It's one of the most really oh. touching things about my whole English one hundred and one was with you, like one hundred percent, because she they came here speaking only Italian, oh. so she would tell by your gestures, you know, what Erica was doing, and then she just learned throughout the, all those years. So, which is what? fantastic. Uh. Thank you so much. I only have to say, I wonder yeah. sometimes since all these women learn to speak English from watching Erica Kane, do we have a country now of divas, like oh, yeah. real divas? <laughs> oh my gosh! And speaking of divas, Devious Maids is back, season four. Yes. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Know, you. Every season when Patrick and I we watch it, literally, and this is the truth, the seasons get better and better and better. Thank so, you so much. And uh, we as the cast mm. and the crew, honestly, not just blowing smoke, yeah. we really think this is the best ever. Oh my God. You said, because I quote you, because you said in an interview, you said, this is the best season ever. It's hilarious and it's full of twists and turns, especially for myself. So explain to me, you got to give me something. Okay. In, in the first episode or in the promo, I see you kind of with nothing on laying on a couch with some arrangement in front of you oh, so yeah. I mean something is going on over here <laughs> a lot is going on um, it's funny in the car on the way uh, driving here this morning I was thinking about how best to describe for, mm. for me what this season for Jean Viev is yeah. like and I was thinking it's devious yes and delicious <laughs> and daring oh my gosh <laughs> All right. for you when you're playing your character what goes in your mind? Because it's it's a little it's different from All My Children because the pace is different. The script, yes. you know, you, have, you and All My Children that's a fast pace. So what's it like for you playing this character? Well, first of all, I love playing this character and I love this show. Yeah. Uh, when I walked in and I auditioned for the part, I know you did. And I, Mark, and he, he made her go audition, but he knew that this role was for you. But he wanted to see you come into the room and I heard you had a really good audition too. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You know, I had so much fun and I understood that's part of his process. Yeah. Everybody auditioned yeah. and I understand that. First of all, it's one thing to like somebody's work mm -hmm. in one part, but you have to know they can play the part you've written for yes, them now. Yes, yes. And also, can you work together? Yeah. Well, I also didn't know how he would pronounce my character's name because uh -huh. I read the script in New York. He was in LA and I didn't know if it was Genevieve. Genevieve, I, mean, I wasn't yeah, sure. Right. Like, mm -mm. And so I walked in and he the first thing he said to me was, okay, uh, so Jean Viev is a cousin of Erica Kane. And I just said, Mark, you That's have it. just told me everything I need to know <laughs> about this character. You know, I mean, that she's called Jean Viev de yeah. la Tour. 
Amazing. Right? I mean, if you're going to follow Erica yes, Kane, yes, Jean-Vierre yes. Delatour. And you know what's great is that when you're doing interviews, you know if they're really watching the show because sometimes it's like, oh, I love your character, Genevieve. And you're like, no, you're not watching it. That's not <laughs> my character's name. But you're thinking inside, I got you over here. But <laughs> she's so fabulous. And sometimes when you're watching the show, you really don't know who's the boss. Is it really her or is it really Zoila? And Mrs. Jean-Vierre is the nicest boss I ever had. <laughs> Rosie, would you be a dear and go make us some lunch? <laughs> Hate her. What? No one hates Rosie. Maybe not the deaf. They don't have to hear her awful whine. Rosie doesn't whine. Mrs. Jean-Vierre, you have a visitor. Stop. She'll hear you. <sighs> have I mentioned how happy I am that you're back? Were your co-stars, were any of them like so excited? Because, you know, all my children. 41 years. I mean, people need to stop thinking about for over a little bit over four decades. Were any of them so excited? Were they all my children fans? Did you were people telling you this when you walked onto the set? Oh, he's so nice to ask me that. Um, you know, I didn't know what to expect. Mm. It was my my first real uh, foray into a nighttime primetime series, mm. and I knew everybody else was coming from somewhere else and making a big splash for themselves. All very talented. Didn't know what to expect, but. As the time went on, and not much time, but as the time went on, um, it was wonderful to hear uh, so many of the actresses I work mm. with, and from the Latin community, telling me that in their household they grew up watching mm. me, and that their family was really excited that we were going to be working together, yeah. and and uh, you know I would, uh, it was very gratifying. To this hear is what that. I love the most about you, because it's been a little bit over five years since the last time we've seen Erica Kane. Yes, but you have always embraced her. You have embraced her. Do you wonder where she is today? Because, I mean, you've, you've, all these years, you wonder what she's doing, where she is. Like, do you think about her sometimes? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. And I miss her sometimes. I think, you know, the last episode was a real cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. As Agnes Nixon we don't, could yes. write. This is like a great Brilliant. romance novel, you yes, know? Yes, yes. And um, people did wonder because it looked like Erica was in the crosshairs of oh, that, yes. that gunfire. The gun, yep. And uh, at the same time, she was saying, I'm mm. going to get Jack mm. back. Mm. And um, her friends were saying, I don't think so. Oh well, her goodness. only friend. Yeah. <laughs> Opal. Her good friend. Yes. Her good yeah, friend her was good saying, friend. Uh, yes. I don't think so. And she said, just watch me, which is very Erica King. Yeah. Out the door, but in the crosshairs. Oh, God. You, you know, see, I don't think she was killed. I don't think she was killed either. Because no. she's going to come back or the show will come back somehow. But my question to you is that people really wanted me to ask you this is, will there be some kind of return in the future for daytime if the if you know for a guest role and let's see another soap on general hospital do you ever th do you ever think about that would you return if the role was right or is the door still open the the door is still open i will say that um when all my children went off the air the you know the other the other shows that have survived and are wonderful yeah. uh with great writers too you know they they had asked if i would and you know my feeling was you know, Erica Kane is such a special part, and I had the opportunity to play her, and and so I wasn't ready then to uh, to go there. Um, and I wouldn't do I, I wouldn't do a guest star. I just think Erica is a particular character, yeah. and I love her, and I don't want to um, play another part on daytime yeah. other than Erica Kane. I know. You know, but but in terms of now, as as Mark says, Jean Vierre de la Tour is a cousin of Erica Kane. Yeah. Uh, I get to you know uh, play a part that the audience loves for the glamour, for she's looking for love mm. in all the wrong places. Yes, yes. And yet Jean Vierre is not street smart like Erica mm -hmm. Kane. <laughs> she is vulnerable and yeah. she's you romantic. See it, you feel it in her. Yes, yes. Right, and she's oh. even a little naive. Yeah. And she does some self medicating. Yes, she does. So she's different <laughs> than Erica Kane. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. When you look at your career, do you have a special moment that you hold so close to you? Because so many wonderful things have happened to you, but is there something that you you just you hold it close to you that you just think about? Well well the part of Erica Kane certainly. Mm. The opportunity to do what I love, which is to be an actress. I've wanted mm. to do it since I since I can remember. And you know, I it's the playing of the scenes, it's the working with these wonderful actors and these scripts that I cherish the most. Um, but certainly, certainly the outpouring from the public and the press mm -hmm. uh, all the, uh, during all the Emmy time, you know, and when I did win the Emmy, that mm -hmm. night will oh. remain with me forever. To First of all, I didn't think once I heard my name. A, I thought Shamar Moore was announcing the oh. playoff scores. 
That was in like, I remember garden. it was like, that remember was like yesterday, like us, me and Mike, because I have six siblings and we were all sitting there by the TV. Oh. And when he called your name, it was like yesterday and Oprah was on the side. I remember that, like she was on the side yes. cheering your name. Rosie O'Donnell was sitting next to you. You had your husband on the other side. And when you went wow. up there, I think we were all crying because I think we've all been waiting for this because you deserve it so much. And Thank to see you, you uh, I just, oh, to see you on that stage and accept it, I mean, yeah, the Thank queen, you. the oh. queen of daytime, oh. okay? <laughs> Speaking of the queen of daytime, you tell me this, because you know, Patrick and I, we've been together for nine years. We're celebrating oh. our one year wedding anniversary in a couple weeks. Oh, congratulations. So, Lalu, yeah. <laughs> what's your, your best marriage advice for both of us? What would you say, like, for us? Or uh, for anyone who's watching. Oh, okay. Because um, you've you know, been married, what is it, almost 47 years? Yes. In September then? Yes. Oh, you did your homework. Thank Girl. you. <laughs> yeah, and it's good, you know, yeah. and that's, that's really, I'm so lucky, but... Um, I would say remember every day mm. why you fell in love. Mm. Keep that going and speak to each other. I mean, communicate. Like my husband, has, I love driving the car with him. He's got these great eyes and I love his dimples. And, <sighs> you know, so I will say, God, I love driving with you. See? Uh, you know? <laughs> So, you know, don't let go of that. See, don't get shy, because when I tell Patrick, you know, like, we're, <laughs> he's, dri he's driving most of the time, and I'm on the other side, and I was like, your smile. And I, till nine years later, I still tell him, I think he's one of the most beautiful smiles, and he gets all shy like he's doing right now. See? But I See? love that. I love that. Yeah. Mm. You know, last year, I think you were presented the Disney Legend Award, correct? Yes. Was it last wow, year? Wow, you did so much homework. Honey, Thank when you. you got a legend on your show, you better do your homework, <laughs> and you better know all this stuff, okay? So mm -hmm. we want to present something to you because it is an honor to have you here. So A Spoonful of Paolo presents Susan Lucci, oh. the Legend Award, which we've never given to any of our guests on our show. Oh, my goodness. So we have it engraved. It says Susan Lucci, A Spoonful oh. of Paolo Legend Paolo. Award. Wow. So this is for you. Thank you, you so this. much. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> you even have Annie Get Your Gun on yeah. here. Oh, oh, Broadway, hello. Oh, I love Broadway. Whoa, my goodness. Mm. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. You're welcome. You're Thank welcome. you. And can I have your jacket when oh, I she leave too? Hey, she walked in and she said she <laughs> likes my jacket. If she's the one she likks my jacket, I, this is it. But I got to keep wearing this it's then, okay? It's gorgeous. Thank you. you. And I do want to end with something else because um, with your, your daughter, uh, yes. Liza, you, you have four beautiful grandchildren, correct? Yes, yes. And one of them, you call him your hero. Yes. Okay? Um, explain why. Why do you call him your hero? Oh, you're talking about Brendan. Mm -hmm. my Brendan, daughter's seven second, year, is he seven years he's old? seven. My daughter had uh, four babies in less than six years so she, and started a business. So she's been very busy. And the second born, uh, Brendan, who's seven, um, was diagnosed with cerebral palsy mm -hmm. when he was just a little over two years old. And we didn't know anything about CP. And uh, we have since learned that it's a, a big umbrella mm -hmm. uh, and um, the, or it's a condition, not a disease. I it's love a when you, you, you keep saying that, and I love that. I want people to really hear that, that when, when someone is diagnosed with this, it really, it's, it's not a disease. It, no. It's not. We've made that very clear. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, um, because we didn't know much about it. We, um, I always thought it was my daughter's story to tell if it were going to be told. Mm. I started working with um, United Cerebral Palsy of New York City, mm. who's phenomenal. Mm. I learned so much, and yet I thought, and I could do my little bit for yeah. helping Brendan and people in a similar situation, but it was Liza's story to tell. Uh, Brendan on this umbrella, on this spectrum, is m mildly, uh, has a mild condition of cerebral palsy, mostly affecting his gait, mm -hmm. his legs. And um, but my daughter, through her research, since we told the story in People magazine, yeah. and we did it for Brendan because we wanted to speak so proudly of him yes. and what a so great he boy he is, so yes. he knows. And um, also to uh, shed some light on cerebral palsy because as we yeah. didn't know anything about it till we needed to, yeah. many people don't know. You know, and in honor of. of your grandson, um, we wanted to donate $100 to the United Cerebral Palsy of New York City. Oh my we wanted, goodness. We just want to get it out there. Just It's a little something because that's what you need to do is you need to get it out there. So this check is for you. My yeah. goodness. I will so gratefully mm -hmm. and graciously pass this on. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You are amazing. Oh. Thank you. Not me. You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you so, so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. So I just want to say. Thank you for being here because 
you are just one, she is one of the nicest people in this business, okay? Like, you're just so humble, so beautiful. I mean, like, you. it's like you sleep in a freezer or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, the studio told my children was very, very cold. I mean, so I think I we were all, all like her medical years. Sealed. It's like, I mean, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so thank you susan lucci and don't forget devious maze monday nights lifetime i mean watch it it's here it's back and it's back. i'm so excited i'm thank so excited you for you so much continue success thank i will be you. rooting you on thank and you so i love much. you so much okay thank you back at you <laughs> and all the best to <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thanks everyone we'll see you next time at spoonful of Paolo. bye bye oh, thank you thank you so much it mm -hmm. has been such a joy oh, thank you Spoonful of follow. <laughs> I love you, Oprah. Bye, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.